Good day everyone, I am Teacher Room Room. Thank you for tuning in. For those who are not here, don't you worry because I will upload it to our e-learning site. Our topic for today is all about the fundamental operations of fractions such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, as well as division. But before we proceed to our topic, may I ask you first a tricky question. Can you guess which is heavier? A 1.5 kilo of cotton or 8 over 16 kilo of nail? Very good! They are the same because 8 over 16 can be written as 1 half. How about 1 and 3 fourth grams of powdered milk or 7 over 4 grams of flour? Still, they are the same because 7 over 4 can be written in a mixed fraction 1 and 3 fourth. What is a fraction by the way? A fraction can be written in the form of A over B, where A and B are integers and B should not be equal to 0. Because if B is equal to 0, that is undefined. If A and B is equal to 0, that is indeterminate. Among the four fractions here, can you classify if it is a proper fraction, improper fraction, or a mixed fraction? Okay, proper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator, that is 1 half and 8 over 16. While improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is bigger than the denominator, that is 7 over 4. And a mixed fraction is a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction which is 1 and 3 fourths. Here are the words that you may encounter during our discussion. We have similar fractions, dissimilar fractions, simplest form, least common denominator or LCD, greatest common factor or GCF. Adding and subtracting fractions which is similar fractions. When we say similar fractions, those fractions that have the same denominators. So just simply copy their common denominators and add the numerators or subtract their numerators. We have, for example, 1 fourth plus 2 fourth is equal to 3 fourths. So their common denominator is 4, then add only the numerator. So 1 plus 2, we have 3 fourths. Next, we have 5, 8 minus 3, 8. So, their common denominator is 8. So, 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. So, we have 2 over 8. Since 2 over 8 is not in the simplest form, we are going to look for the GCF. The GCF of 2 and 8 is 2. So, now 2 divided by 2, that is 1. And 8 divided by 2, that is 4. How about if we are going to add and subtract fractions which are dissimilar fractions. When we say dissimilar fractions, those are fractions that do not have the same denominator. So just simply write the multiples of the denominators and look for their common. For example, we have 1 fourth plus 2 thirds. So the multiples of 4 is 4, 8, 12, 16. And 3, we have 3, 6, 9, and 12. So their common now is 12. So that 12 serve as your denominator. So we have 12 divided by 4, that is 3 times 1, we have 3. And 12 divided by 3, that is 4 times 2, that is 8. Now, just add 3 plus 8 is equal to 11 over 12. Next, we have 4 over 5 minus 2 thirds. So the same process, just list down the multiples of 5 as well as 3. So 5, 10, 15, 20, and 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. So their common denominator is 15. So 15 divided by 5, that is 3 times 4, we have 12. And 15 divided by 3, that is 5 times 2, we have 10. So 12 minus 10 is equal to 2 over 15. Multiplying fractions. To multiply fractions, just simply multiply the numerators and denominators. For example, we have 1 fifth times 3 fourths. So just simply multiply 1 times 3, that is 3, and 5 times 4, that is 20. How about if we have 3 fourths times 4 fifths? So just simply multiply 3 times 4, that is 12, and 4 times 5, that is 20. Since 12 over 20 is not in the simplest form, we are going to look for the GCF, which is 4. So 12 divided by 4, that is 3, and 20 divided by 4, that is 5. 
Dividing fractions. Division by a fraction is the same as multiplication by its reciprocal. For example, we have 3 fourth divided by 2 third. So we are going to look for the reciprocal of 2 third, which is 3 halves. Now we can proceed to the rule of multiplication. So 3 times 3, that is 9, and 4 times 2, that is 8. So 9 over 8 can be written as a mixed fraction as a 1 and 1 eight. How about if we are going to multiply fractions to a whole number? Just always remember that a whole number has a constant denominator of 1. So the reciprocal of 2, that is 1 half. So 1 times 1, that is 1, and 2 times 2, that is 4. So the answer is 1 fourth. Complex fractions. Complex fractions are fractions that the numerators is more than two or more fractions as well as the denominators. For example, we have two fifth plus one third divided by four over seven minus one half. So we are going to solve first the numerator and the denominator, then proceed to the rule of division. If we are going to add the numerators two fifth plus one third, since they are the similar fraction, we are going to look for the LCD. Their LCD will be 15. So 15 divided by 5, that is 3 times 2, we have 6. And 15 divided by 3, that is 5 times 1, we have 5. So 6 plus 5 is equal to 11 over 15. Now, our numerator is solved. How about our denominator, which is 4 over 7 minus 1 half? Since they don't have the same Denominator, so just simply look for the LCD, which is 14. So 14 divided by 7, that is 2, times 4, we have 8. And 14 divided by 7, that is 7, times 1. So 8 minus 7 is equal to 1 over 14. Now let's proceed to the rule of division. So 11 over 15 divided by 1 over 14. So, just simply look for the reciprocal of 1 over 14, that is 14 over 1, then proceed to the rule of multiplication. So, 11 times 14, that is 154, then 15 times 1, that is 15. So, the answer is 154 over 15, or you can also write it using a mixed fraction. Please do your activity entitled Operations of Fractions in your e-learning site. Thank you and have a blessed day everyone.